The property taxes you pay every year fund all kinds of things. Many of these make sense. Others don't. Here in Elmwood Park, an unincorporated community in St. Louis County, the residents got together about 10 years ago and created a streetlight district. That's right, a streetlight district. Every year, a portion of the property taxes paid in this community go to fund the streetlights in this neighborhood, and only the streetlights in this neighborhood. This independent taxing district has its own elected officials and serves just the people of this neighborhood. While this is a rare example of a property tax district in Missouri, it's one that makes sense. The streetlights serve everyone in the neighborhood by improving safety at night, and that helps maintain property values. Most people in Missouri don't live in a streetlight district, but your property taxes pay for everything from A to Z, from art museums to zoos, and everything in between. We're standing here in one of the prettiest sites in St. Louis, the lake in front of the art museum in Forest Park. Property taxes, like the ones used to fund this art museum, make sense when there is a direct connection between the public service and the property being taxed. It makes sense to fund levy districts in Missouri with property taxes, because the property in the floodplain directly benefits from the tax they pay. Property taxes lose their effectiveness when the direct connection between the property being taxed and the public service is reduced. It makes no sense to fund community bans in Missouri via property taxes. There is no connection between the property being taxed and the band, and the owner of the property does not get any benefit from the band unless they voluntarily choose to attend the concert. For more information on property taxes in Missouri, please read our latest policy study, Homes, Taxes, and Choices, available at our website, showmeinstitute.org. For the Show Me Institute, I'm David Stokes. <laughs>